On behalf of all of us at the Brothers 911 ID, I'd like to thank you for your interest in our product. This product can't keep you from being involved in an accident. It can't keep you from being hurt. What it can do is be an aid in helping your loved ones decide which hospital you can be admitted to and how much health care services you will receive in the event that you do experience an accident. The Runner's 911 ID was developed in response to a need. I personally experienced a tragedy in my life and lost a friend who was running during his lunch hour. He was killed by a car and the really hard part was the fact that they were unable to identify Bill until 24 hours after he was struck. Like most runners, he did not carry any identification while he was running. I did some research, figuring there had to be a solution on the market. There are options like wristbands and dog tags that you put on your shoe laces. Those solutions didn't feel good to me. I didn't like the idea of having to keep track of another wristband. I didn't like the idea of having a tag flapping around and hitting my foot as I was running. The solution to me seemed to be a permanently adhered sticker that would go on a runner's shoe and provide the emergency information that's so vital when it's needed most. The Runner's 911 ID sticker is a very tough, hardy product that'll serve you well. It's got a high level of adhesion, and if it's properly applied, it'll stay on your shoe for the life of the shoe. You'll notice that I said if properly applied. One of the main points of this video is to explain to you that there isn't a one solution fits all in terms of placing the, the sticker on a shoe. Generally speaking, the best place to put this is on a flat rubberized surface. On some shoes, the ears are available out here on the outer part of the shoe, on the heel of the shoe, or on the instep of the shoe. If you're able to place a sticker in any of these three positions, it'll adhere and it'll wear for a long time. Now not all shoes have flat surfaces. As an example, you'll notice this particular shoe model has a large number of divots, holes, creases. They're formed to absorb shock, but they don't make adhering identification tags very very feasible. In situations like this there are there are alternatives. An alternative is on the toe of the shoe. This product will adhere to mesh but it's generally speaking better to try to adhere it to an area that doesn't get as much flexibility as the toe if you're trying to stick it on a mesh shoe. On many shoes, the heel is a very good place to place the tag because it doesn't have the flexibility and it doesn't have the motion that you're going to experience in the front part of the shoe. Another option is on the tongue of the shoe. You want to be careful if you select this, make sure you've got enough tongue that the tops of the shoelaces fall under the label or it'll create a lot of wear and stress and reduce the lifespan of the product. Having identified a, an adhesive sticker as a solution to, the, to this need, we started doing research. We did a lot of research. We investigated hundreds of options trying to find something that would adhere to the shoe and something that would maintain the, the print quality over the life of the shoe. We finally found an exclusive product and it works proud of our relationship with the manufacturer and this will be a product that will serve you well. In closing, again, I'd like to thank you for your interest in our product. We believe that this is an affordable solution to a pressing need that all runners should avail themselves of. Thank you.